Fox and Friends and Fox and Outnumbered and all of those Fox people, they really need to figure out a way of making this criminal trial, which could theoretically put Donald Trump uh, at least, I mean, I think he's going to get convicted of this. He could go to jail over his um, violation of a gag order. I imagine he won't go to jail. There'll be an appeal if he gets convicted, but um, or he'll attempt to appeal. Uh, so they're doing their best to sort of obscure what this trial is about, let's say. And um, here is Fox's Kennedy and Harris Faulkner. Yeah, thank one, you. Thank you, Brian. Number one, the judge sounds like a perv because he mm -hmm. wants her to talk in lure detail and he's asking her to speak more slowly. That's gross. Number two, let's say that let's say the transaction did take place. I'm talking about the physical one. Her being surprised that she was going to a hotel room alone with a man to have body congress is like Pete Sampras being surprised at, uh, at being invited to a tennis court and you want to see his serve. And then he says, you know, I started shaking when I saw a tennis racket. I didn't know what to do with it. It's like, bro, you've won 17 majors. <laughs> and, you know, it's like it's this, this woman saying Pause that for one she blacked out. First she off, I should tell so you nervous. that apparently Kennedy has not watched tennis in uh, several decades uh having to use the pete sampras um example but Why? let's well okay yeah i don't sure. understand what's being said she's saying stormy is lying that she's she was nervous to go sleep with a very powerful man because she does so like on camera she does professionally so frequently. Yeah. In, well, a, I think in a she sort was, of very yeah. controlled environment yeah right she's just being misogynistic about it right. why does she think that she has the ability to be somebody who has one singular name as like a random fox news commentator <laughs> yeah. wow. you're not zendaya you're not oprah lady i mean you're also, none the of these Kennedy's people. taken in this world <laughs> I, right, exactly, exactly. <laughs> All right. All right, let's go back. Uh, you know, it's like it's, this, this woman saying that she blacked out because she was so nervous, it's like a surgeon saying he barfed at the sight of blood. It's a little hard to believe. It's very hard to believe because that's what she got paid to do on film. I mean, it wasn't even like she was used to doing it in the corners of darkness. She was having sex in front of many cameras. Well lit. <laughs> Steve. But so, so sorry, in a professional environment. Like right. what are you talking about? Go ahead. Sorry, keep on, brother. Oh, also, this I mean, to... yeah, exactly. There were other there were multiple people there. It was uh I mean the, it, There was a contract. Yeah, you signed a consent it, form, like if there's, for the if most there's part. really more of an apt uh metaphor than a surgeon barfing at uh, blood. It would be a surgeon barfing at blood when that surgeon looks down and realizes like oh that blood's coming from my arm which has just been caught in some type of industrial uh accident and half of my arm has been lopped off that's what it's really more equivalent or if like you were a surgeon brought under cover of night to like a powerful guy's house to do surgery in his basement and you're like yeah i'm a little bit uncomfortable with the circumstance <laughs> and there's a guard out in front yeah. incidentally uh, uh trump's bodyguard was was uh, blocking the door on the other side yes any cameras well lit <laughs> Steve. So this has to be the low point in this complete farce Agreed. of a trial. And this is the day of all days that conclusively proves what Trump's been saying all along. OK, so it actually does none of the sort. We we they're just slut shaming her and then yep. think that that's a that's an argument um, like the facts of this case are not contested. Donald Trump and her had a sexual relationship back in i guess 2006 around that time then when he was running for president he paid her 130k through his lawyer michael cohen who then was reimbursed and the reimbursements were put under the auspices of legal services and that is the contention of the prosecution so it doesn't really matter what her mindset was like it doesn't really matter if she was scared or if she were enjoying it or if she thought like oh maybe i'll borrow this for my next performance like in uh, adult films it doesn't really matter what her mindset was it's about the fact that it happened and the prosecution can't or the defense i should say can't contest that yeah. And I think um, I, I imagine part of what the prosecution is doing here is to um, make it clear why Trump felt like he had to 
pay money to get her to be quiet. Uh, one of the things she said during the trial is that he had told uh, her that the, he slept in separate beds from his wife. And apparently he audibly swore at that uh, when she said that in the courtroom. I mean, I think what it <laughs> Guess was... that woke him up. <laughs> well, I think the point is, is that they're trying to show, and I think they effectively did it just based upon his reaction probably in the courtroom, how embarrassed he felt he would be um, and how much he thought it might screw up his... Yeah. Uh, election. Now, the irony, of course, is, is that it wouldn't have screwed up his election at all. I mean, you can see it here in this just in this Fox News segment. She is, um, you know, uh, uh, painted with a scarlet letter, but he somehow I oh. mean, he, he was barely involved in the whole thing. He's just a victim. What, were, um, what is Fox News' stance on the uh, affair that Bill Clinton had with yeah. Monica Lewinsky, for example? I mean, are they giving it the same kind of coverage that they would for that? No, no, of course not. And But the amazing thing is, is that he's not somehow his participation in this has no uh, resonance for them. It's really just deal. about her. Right. Or the fact that he uh, she repeated she said this multiple times that Trump compared Stormy Daniels to his daughter, Ivanka. In the midst yeah. of their sexual relationship. Okay, right. well, you yeah, we get don't... the full context. For that. <laughs> You're taking me out of co- taking me out of context. Yeah. Typical. You're both smart media. women. That's all I meant. <laughs> You're both very smart. Um, I I would love to them to bring in the ABC executives to make them uh, testify about him trying to get her onto um, uh, The Apprentice because. He definitely did. Or maybe it was NBC. He definitely did. He he definitely did. Hey, folks, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and check out our daily show. We do it every day at 12 p.m. Eastern for about two and a half hours. We even take phone calls. You should check that out.